Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about find elements in Selenium. This video is going to be my 13th video on my playlist Selenium. Before proceeding to this video, I want you guys to make sure that you guys have seen my find element video without watching that video. Do not jump to this video because you will understand this video in case you have a knowledge of find element, which I uploaded previously on my channel. Let's get started now to talk about what is find elements in Selenium. So interaction of the elements that are present in my web page requires the user to locate the element and then perform some action, which I have already explained in my multiple videos. Now, if you remember, as I said in my find element video, that find element, it will help you to uniquely identify the web element on a web page. Similarly, you have find elements, which is not used to ident uniquely identify the web element, but it is used to get the whole list of web elements that you have specified in your locator. So it will give you the whole list of elements. Before I go deep into what is find elements, let me tell you that the find elements method that you have in Selenium, it is not that frequently used while writing your automation script. Find elements is not that method which is frequently used while writing an automation script. It will give you the whole list of web elements that you have specified in your locator. Now, let's say that you have using the locator, you are trying to identify the tag name called as A. So it will give you the whole list of web elements that are present in your web page. So in a web page, which channel components is composed of tag name a it will give you the whole list of that so the benefit of find elements is this that it will give you the whole list of your find elements that is associated in your web page so in selenium you have two methods one method you have already seen that is find element which is used to uniquely identify the element within the web page which you have already seen and you have find elements Using find elements, it will give you the whole list of web elements that is associated with that page. Now let's get start to write a program to make you guys understand step by step. Now let's create a class. Let's give the class name as find. You can give any name that you want. The purpose of writing this program is to make you guys understand what is the syntax of find elements and how can I use it. As you already know what I'm doing it here, uh, which I have already explained in my multiple videos like why, why I'm writing this system.set property and uh, why, why this command I have written webdriver Manish is equal to new webdriver because this helps me to launch my particular Chrome browser. And then I'm going inside my Chrome browser and I'm typing www.google.com. And then the find element syntax is, so your find elements takes the by object as a parameter and it returns the list of web elements. What do you mean by that? So the meaning is list of web elements. And then I have to use some reference variable. Let's use reference variable as a, and then you can use manish.findElements by, let's say I'm using by locator as link text and then link text value. It can be anything. Let's give Google and then that's it. Now, if you hover over it, it will tell you to import the list Java util. So you need to import it to get rid of that error that it was showing. Now, what I'm doing it here, I am just trying to get the list of all the web elements, which has link text as Google. Now, if you see here, now find elements, take the parameter as of by object. Now it, will, it is taking the by object as a parameter in my find elements method. And the return type of my find elements is nothing but list of web elements. That's what I'm trying to explain it with the syntax. The find elements takes the parameter of my by object and the return type of my find elements is nothing but list of web elements. Now what it is trying to do it here in my google.com, wherever I'm going to see link text as Google, it will give me this a will give me list of all the web elements that are that have link text as google so now now i'm trying to get the size of how many elements are now there with the link text as google so i did a dot size 
But where I'm going to store a dot size, I, I need to store it in some integer data type. So I will write integer and I can get give size of a. As a variable. Now, if you see here, my int is a return type because a dot size will give me the size in integer, right? Because so a dot size will give me the like how many elements in my web page have a link text as Google. Now that size I'm storing it in my size of a, and that's why the return type of my size of a is int system dot out println size of a now if i do this if i do this and run it now if i run this you would see that it is launching a chrome browser then it is it is going to launch my www.google.com and then it is trying to identify with find elements it is trying to identify where any element is present with the link text name as google or not if it is finding it then it will give those all the web, web elements all the web elements list it will give in my a and then i'm trying to get the size of it so that i will get to know what is the size of all those element whose link text is as google and then i'm storing that one in my size of a and i'm just printing it out now if i run this you could see that it is it is launching my chrome browser it is going to www.google.com and then once after doing that it is trying to identify whether any element is present with the name as google link text or not if it is not there it is going to give me size zero if it is there it will give me some size since it has given me size zero that means there is no element on my web page on my this web page google.com there is no element which has a link text name as Google and that's why it has given me size zero. Now, if you could see this web page, you, you could see that there is a, there is a link whose name is Gmail. Now, instead of now finding link text as Google, I will search with Gmail and I will run it and I will see whether I'm going to get any size or not. So it is launching my Chrome browser and then it is going to www.google.com and then if I could see here it will give me some size it is giving me size as one that means on your www.google.com there is an element whose link text is gmail and how many elements are there in that web page so there are only one element with the name as gmail and that is the reason I have got only one now let's say that instead of doing this what I'm going to do here by tag name a i'm going to do this now what i'm trying to do here is i have given the tag name is a now you know that which i already discussed in my this video you already know that links tag name will be a now what i'm trying to do here is i am going to my google.com page and i'm trying to inspect how many elements are there with a link so i'm, I'm trying to identify how many links are present in my web page and uh, that I'm, that size I'm going to store in my size of A and uh, then I'm going to print how many size are available like what is the size of my uh, links that are available in my google.com now if I run this you could see that it is launching my chrome browser it is going to www.google.com and then it is trying to identify how many tag names are present with the name as with the tag name as A and you know that A is nothing but your uh, links so it will give you the size so it is executing still now if you see this it has given me the size is 25 that means in my this web page in my this web page in my this web page that is google.com there are 25 links are present with the tag name as a and that's what you have got it here 25 i hope now you guys have understood why we use find elements it is used to get the list of web elements whatever you specify in your locator so whatever you specify in your locator right that that list of all the web elements that are available with that locator that you have specified now if you see that in this locator in my by parameter in my find elements 
I have specified locator as tag name as a. Now I know that my a tag name is nothing but the link. So I'm trying to get the list of those web elements. So I'm getting here in my a and with the help of a, I'm trying to get the size of it. I'm storing it in the size of a integer and I'm just printing it, which is giving me how many web elements are present in my www.google.com page with a tag name as a. Now, if you see here, now I want you guys to remember this syntax of your find elements. Now the syntax of find elements is list of web element and then your reference variable and then you can use any variable here. You can use driver. You can use your own name. With the help of that, you are trying to find out find elements and then your by object as a parameter and return type of your find elements. Return type of this find elements is nothing but list of find elements. So this will give you the list of web elements. And then with the help of a size method, you can get the size, like how many elements are present with this particular locator and that you can store it in some integer and you can just print it out so that will give you now let's say that the tag name that you are using or let's say that the locator that you are using in your find elements is not capable of finding any element your find elements will give you the empty list in case the locator that you are using is not capable of finding any elements now let's say that you you would have noticed at starting that when I had given Google as a link text, it gave me a result of zero. So your find element will give you the empty list in case the locator that you are using is not capable of finding any elements. Or let's say that you're using some locator and that locator is not able to find any elements. In that case, your web element, your list of web elements will give you the empty list that we already saw previously. If you remember in my find element video, I had said you that if my locator is not capable of finding the element, find element will give me no such element exception. But your find elements is not like that. It will just give you the empty list. I just want you guys to remember this. So I hope this video was useful. In case yes, please give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT and please share this video with any friends. In case you have any kind of doubt, list out all your doubt in the comment section.